Did you know that the majestic Himalayas, the highest mountain range on Earth, formed over at least 30 million years? Today, we're delving deep into the secrets locked within these giants. Picture a colossal game of bumper cars, where the cars are tectonic plates and the collisions birth mountains. This is the story of our beloved Himalayas. Born from the fiery heart of the Earth, they emerged as the Indian tectonic plate collided with Asia. The aftermath of this immense geological event is breathtakingly visible today in the form of the Himalayas. This range, a testament to the slow and complex nature of mountain building, stretches across five countries and stands tall as a symbol of nature's grandeur. But its formation, that's a narrative etched in stone literally. Across these towering peaks and valleys, the rocks narrate a tale of deep burial and thrust faulting processes that have shaped the Himalayas over millions of years. Now imagine if we could rewind this tale, not in a time machine, but through the lens of tiny minerals embedded within these rocks. These are our protagonists, the tiny crystals, silent witnesses to the drama of geological evolution that has unfolded over eons. These crystals, like the pages of a history book, carry the imprints of the Himalayas past. Researchers like Matthew J. Cohn have been studying these crystals, microanalyzing metamorphic rocks to unlock the secrets they hold. Among them, a large monazite crystal from Nepal, fondly nicknamed Monzilla, has offered some intriguing insights. This is not just about understanding the history of a mountain range. It's about comprehending the geological forces that have shaped our planet. It's about appreciating the intricate ballet of natural processes that have sculpted the world as we know it. Join us as we journey back millions of years through the lens of tiny crystals to uncover the Himalayas' untold stories. In the heart of Nepal, a unique crystal was discovered, a large monazite crystal named Monzilla. But what makes Monzilla so extraordinary? Monazite crystals, typically found in metamorphic rocks, are geological wonders. These tiny minerals are like time capsules, preserving millions of years of Earth's history within their microscopic structures. However, Monzilla is not your average monazite crystal. Its unusually large size has made it a subject of intrigue and study among geologists worldwide. You see, monazite crystals are nature's record keepers. They capture the conditions under which they formed, providing a historical record of the geological processes that occurred over time. For instance, they can indicate changes in temperature, pressure, and the presence of certain elements. This makes them invaluable tools for understanding Earth's past. Now, imagine a monazite crystal the size of Monzilla. Its larger size means it has witnessed and recorded more history than its smaller counterparts. That's what makes Monzilla extraordinary. It is like a massive library of geological information waiting to be read. When the research team led by Matthew J. Cohn stumbled upon this crystal, they knew they had found something special. They nicknamed it Monzilla, a fitting name for a crystal that towers over its peers in both size and significance. The team's analysis of Monzilla revealed evidence of deep burial and thrust faulting processes that have shaped the Himalayas. This has provided unprecedented insights into the slow and complex nature of mountain building, illuminating a chapter of the Himalayan history that was previously shrouded in mystery. But Monzilla's story is far from over. As scientists continue to decipher its secrets, this crystal is poised to redefine our understanding of the geological evolution of the Himalayas one of the most majestic and enigmatic mountain ranges on our planet. Monzilla, a crystal like no other, is set to redefine our understanding of the Himalayan history. Scene script. How can a tiny crystal reveal the secrets of a mountain range? Let's decode the mysteries of Monzilla. Imagine holding a book in your hands. Now imagine that book is a crystal and each page is a layer of its inner structure by studying these layers, scientists can read the story of the mountain range from which the crystal came. This is exactly what researchers did with Monzilla, the monazite crystal from Nepal. Monazite is a unique mineral. It's like a mini time capsule, 
capable of preserving information about the conditions it was formed under for millions of years. When scientists study a crystal like Monzilla, they're not just looking at its physical appearance, they're peering deep inside it at the atomic level. Here's how it works. Using a technique called microanalysis, scientists bombard the crystal with a focused beam of electrons. This beam interacts with the atoms in the crystal, causing them to emit X-rays. By analyzing these X-rays, researchers can identify the types of atoms present and their arrangement. In other words, they can read the crystal's composition and structure. The structure of a crystal tells us a lot about the geological processes it has undergone. For instance, certain arrangements of atoms can indicate that the crystal was formed under high pressure, suggesting deep burial. Other arrangements might suggest the crystal experienced intense heat, indicating volcanic activity. By studying Monzilla's composition and structure, researchers were able to discern evidence of deep burial and thrust faulting processes. These processes are key players in the formation of mountain ranges and their presence in Monzilla offered a glimpse into the geological history of the Himalayas. But Monzilla isn't just any crystal. It's a monazite crystal. Monazite is known for its ability to capture and preserve thorium and uranium, two elements that decay over time at a steady rate. By measuring the quantities of these elements and their decay products in Monzilla, scientists can determine when the crystal was formed. This gives them a timeline of the geological events the crystal has witnessed. Through Monzilla's microscopic layers, we are reading the Himalayas past, page by page. Monzilla has spoken, shedding light on the slow and complex processes that shaped the Himalayas. What did it reveal? Picture this, a massive crystal from the depths of the earth, whispering tales of the past through the language of geology. The analysis of Monzilla revealed evidence of deep burial and thrust faulting processes. But what does that mean? Let's break it down. Deep burial refers to the process in which rocks are buried deep within the Earth's crust over time. As layers of sediment accumulate on the surface, the rocks beneath are subjected to immense pressure and heat, leading to metamorphosis. In the case of Monzilla, the deep burial process is a testament to its ancient origins, having been formed and transformed over millions of years beneath the Himalayan crust. It's like an underground time capsule, each layer representing a chapter in the epic saga of the Earth's evolution. Now, let's talk about thrust faulting. This process involves one block of crust being pushed up over another, often due to tectonic forces. Imagine two pieces of a puzzle colliding and overlapping. This is a key process in the formation of majestic mountain ranges such as the Himalayas. In the world of geology, Monzilla is akin to a cryptic manuscript, its mineral composition revealing the processes that contributed to the formation of the Himalayas. The Indian tectonic plate, over a span of 30 million years, collided with the Asian plate a slow dance of geological proportions that led to the birth of the world's highest mountain range. Monzilla's revelations have given us a new perspective on the formation of the Himalayas, a process far more intricate than we ever imagined. The crystal's tale, told through the language of geology, serves as a reminder of the slow, intricate ballet of tectonic forces that shape our planet, one layer at a time. Monzilla, the silent storyteller, continues to unravel the enigma of the Himalayas, shedding light on the slow and complex process that has created and continues to shape this majestic mountain range. This discovery is more than just a crystal's tale. It's a testament to the slow dance of tectonic plates that sculpt our world. The story of Monzilla, this remarkable monazite crystal, is more than just a historical record of the Himalayas. It's a window into the profoundly complex processes that shape not only these majestic mountains, but all the landforms on our planet. The metamorphic secrets it holds provide us with a better understanding of the geological ballet that has been unfolding for millions of years. Let's consider for a moment the implications of this discovery. The study of Monzilla and its kin 
has shed light on the intricate mechanisms of mountain building. It's a fascinating process, a dance of unimaginable scale and grandeur, where tectonic plates collide and the Earth's crust buckles and folds to form towering peaks. These findings also give us a glimpse into the geological evolution of the Himalayan region by understanding how these mountains were formed and how they changed over millions of years. We can predict future transformations and perhaps even develop strategies to mitigate natural disasters such as earthquakes and landslides. But the significance of this discovery goes beyond the realm of geology. It's also a testament to the power of scientific curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Matthew J. Cohn and his team have shown us how the seemingly insignificant can hold the key to understanding the grandest of natural phenomena, and there's a more profound philosophical implication to consider. This tiny crystal, born from the depths of the earth, carries within it a tale of time and change. It's a humbling reminder of our planet's age and the slow, relentless processes that have shaped it. It underscores our transience in the grand scheme of things and the enduring beauty of the world we are privileged to call home. With each tiny crystal, we unlock a piece of our planet's history, reminding us of the awe-inspiring processes that have shaped the world we live in today.